Today we are back with another episode of Vand. We've got an absolute mint condition BW Carry Camper. Thanks for coming across, Neil, and seeing us. Could you just tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and about your absolutely lovely caddy? I'm Neil Timms. I'm from uh, Middlewich in Cheshire, originally from Oxford, and this is my caddy, otherwise known as Reflex Caddy. It's a camper, as well as uh, what some might call a, uh, a show pony, yep. even though I don't class it as that. It's my daily drive. Did you convert it to a camper? Yes, built the bed over lockdown, fully removable so it can be a van at any time. All right, okay. Had all the seats re-trimmed during lockdown, delivered to me by my trimmer down in uh, Worcester. Oh, nice one. The interior is really unique. Sort of tell everybody at home, you know, why you sort of did it that way. The, the vision for me was um, to have a van that was different, not just another silver caddy. Yep. The yellow pinstriping, which actually came about from a VW show at Tatton Park where I was talking to one of the lads that was on the show stand with me about pinstriping to make it different. He happened to have a roll of yellow pinstriping and stuck one on the side strip to see what it looked like. And that's how it started. I then wanted to follow the theme inside. I've always liked the GTE tartan fabric. Yep. Um, decided to go for yellow tartan fabric with the uh, armrest to match and just continue the yellow theme. Yellow, yellow needles on the clocks. Change the dashboard lights to red, just little bits. It's a nice, it's a nice place to be in. My well, interior wise, obviously we've got the Toran dash, yeah. Toran centre console, a Mark III Sirocco flat bottom steering wheel, nice. uh, re-trimmed by myself yep. um, with a suede cover. We've got the Mark VI GTD re-trimmed in tartan yellow. These are very comfortable, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, they are, they are comfortable. Toran carpets, Toran seat bases. Yep. Obviously, backs fully lined and carpeted. Uh, Alcantara lined roof with four spotlights in it. Very small. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I think that also makes a difference on the sound in the van as well. Toran dash, I think it cuts a lot of sound out. Yeah. And the aircon's connected to it, so it's a fridge. I've got the pipe that goes off the back. No way. Yeah. If you move the sandwich, you'll see there's a little there's a little dial. It turns it into a fridge. Oh, it's box. <laughs> Fridging glove box. <laughs> I didn't even know that existed. Yeah. And then in the back, you've got the bed built by me. Um, no plans, no measurements, just completely made with a load of wood yeah. and a few screws. So you know the back doors? Yeah. I notice you've got you've got a table on them. I have, yeah. I, curtains. Yes, got cur fitted curtains in the back for camping. Um, like I said, I do use it at weekends camping. I spent a week in Wales in it during yeah. August. I built a fold-out table on the back doors to uh, place my cooker. Right, okay. Just for boiling water for making coffee, and but I didn't want it inside the van. It's got a leisure battery fitted. Um, no split charge yet. suspension have you got? It's on uh, Bilston's all round. You don't get much better than Bilston's do you? No, no. There's um, B BC Racing obviously are uh, up there with them as well. Yeah. But I've had no experience with them. I've only had these. What tyres are you running on these? Size? Yeah. Uh, 235. 235. Yeah. yeah. It don't feel like it's lowered. No. Make me wish I'd spent more on mine. <laughs> <laughs> I think it makes a difference you know. Yeah. You know, spending spending money on suspension. Yeah. I know every, everybody's got the budget. You know that that you know not everybody's got the money to spend on it, but it does them fundamental things. They do make a difference. Yeah. It's made a massive difference to this because it's just so smooth. I mean, it doesn't even feel like it's lowered. No. I always say to people that if you're going to lower a van, um, you're better off holding off and waiting maybe two or three months, save that little bit extra money. Yeah. Um, even going for a mid-range setup because you'll only end up changing them again yeah. anyway. It's not noisy as well, there's no, no. clicking, banging, clanging. The new 
rear Bilston shocks were still in the back of the box. Robert GTE custom vans to fit them for me before I picked the van up. He also glossed the front grille for me, fitted a front splitter yep. and a set of new wheels which are the Valair VLR 03s, 19 inch in matte graphite. The low line kit is from yep. TRC. Right, okay. It's a full kit, um, only available for the Mark III. Right. So it's the side skirts, front splitter and rear splitter. You've tinted your lights. I did, that's a DIY job. Yeah. During lockdown. Two litre manual. Yeah. Yeah. Six speed. Six speed. What standard? 140 is standard. 140 and you've had? It's at 185. 185. Yeah. Has that made much of a difference to um, MPG as well? It runs about 49 MPG yeah. on a long run. Yeah. Yeah, about 49. Um, I've had it up to 52. Usually it's about 40. Yeah. It's not something I think you drive it like it's stolen. No. 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 No, I don't. It's not a race van. I don't. The van's not for that for no, me. No, it is mint. I mean, there's not a mark on it. It is absolutely mint, and I'm uh, I'm pretty jealous to be honest. Oh yes. So it's my turn. Yeah. Have you ever let anybody else drive it? Nope. I'm honoured. <laughs> really smooth. It's like a car, isn't it? Yeah. As close as you'll get being a van. Yeah. Nice steering wheel as well. Yeah. Steering's nice and light as well, isn't it? Just got standard brakes, yeah? Standard brakes, yeah, for the 2 litre 140. I believe they're the same as the Golf GTI. Yeah. I didn't think there'd be such a big difference, but I've never driven in it, apart from my 1.6, I've never driven a different caddy, so. It is a big, quite a big difference. I don't know everything about caddies, so what's the difference between, say, a start line bumper and an eye line? The start line, start line bumper is all in one piece for a start. So the uh, Toran bumper, you can take the grills out to paint them. Whereas if you've got a standard bumper, you'd have to take the whole bumper off to paint the bits you need to paint. Ah. Or mask up the bumper. Yeah. Um, obviously factory fog lights. Um, and there's, there's a couple of like indentations on the side of the bumper as well. Yeah. The start line is smooth. Down yep. the side by the wheel arch, whereas the um, Highline uh, Toran bumper has got like a, an indentation, just yep. a different style to them. Sits nice and all. That's the only thing with some of them, you know, with maxes, yeah. you know, I think them being so long, you get a little bit of yeah. a body roll yeah. just with chassis being so long. Yeah. And these, you know, with short wheelbase, you don't. No. Very tucked, isn't it? Tucked into corners. I think if I went home with one of these, I'd took my wife in it, she'd be like, ooh, I think you need to get one of these. Yeah. Even lowered. What made you pick a caddy? Started off with a 1.6 caddy that I had, another silver one, it was 11 plate. It was brought to deliver PA systems for my disco business. A year after buying the van, I decided to give up the business. So I was then left with the van. So I went on to Facebook and thought there must be a group out there with people that do things to vans, specifically caddies. And I found Caddy Club UK. Yep. It had two and a half thousand members when I found them. I started to do mods, wheels, sidebars, roof bars, wrap the roof, fully carpet lined and plied the back myself. Yep. Uh, camper electrics, and it just went on from there. Then the shows um, started, and I was approached to go to a show at VAG at the Manor, right. which was my first official VW show in 2016. I was a bit skeptic at first, but the admin approached me and said, look, Caddy Club UK is not like that. As long as it's a caddy van, we want you at the show. So I went, and then from then onwards, it's just hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously progressing from a 1.6, it took me nine months to find this one, which was a is a two litre, as we said. Very hard to find in a Highline spec with a six speed standard box. When I found it, then all hell broke loose. <laughs> <laughs> I know we originally met 12 months ago at uh, Trax at Silverstone. That was my first show in years. And it really, it, it really opened my eyes. I mean, how many caddies were there last year? It was 79. 79 caddies. What did, we, what did we win? Best club stand. Yeah, best club stand. Yeah, so it was the highest yeah. award, yeah. So who, who are the sort of founding members? For Caddy Club UK, yeah. it's Anthony Chesworth, 
Matt Clark is the, the driving force behind the tracks. Yeah. Then you've got myself and Jeff Cooper, which tend to do the meets, uh, Leeds VW show. Yeah. Jeff, Jeff Cooper organises that. I do monthly breakfast meets. And where are they at? We have one in St Helens. Right, okay. We have one that's in Whitchurch in Shropshire. We also have one in Worcester. There's also a monthly meet in Blue Water. Have you got any more plans? Uh, yes, the door cards which are currently in peace at the moment. Uh, Touran door cards which are going to be the yellow suede with the black surrounding suede. Still stay in the uh, plastic at the top. Yep. Yellow trim through them. Roof lining is going to be black and the actual cloth roof lining is going to be dyed yellow. Nice. Then into the back, the back roof lining is going to be uh, removed with a drop ceiling with yellow LEDs, black through the middle and tartan around the edge. Very nice. Is there anybody you want to give a shout out to? The lad that done my upholstery, uh, Nomad Auto Upholstery. Yep. It's uh, Sammy, Rob at GTE Custom Vans who supplied the base van yep. to me originally. Jeff Cooper, who helps me with a lot of the internal work, dashboard, etc. Yeah. Do you know the tag for Instagram for yourself and the Caddy Club? For Instagram, it's um, at VWCCUK. Yep. And for myself, it's at Reflex Caddy. We'll call that a wrap. Thanks for coming and seeing us, Neil. It's been nice to have a really clean camper caddy as an episode. Thank you for having me. No problem. Don't forget, guys give us a like, give us a subscribe and drop some comments in the bottom. We always appreciate your feedback and we'll see you next time. See you later.